we all will die. No runs around it, we all will die. But death is a very interesting thing. Medicine and science have made such a progress in the last 200 years that diseases that represented huge danger to humanity are on the brink of disappearing. Lifespan around the world has increased almost by 40 years in just a century, and we are in a chapter of human history that's never been seen before, demographic aging. Still, people living longer and hopefully healthier doesn't mean we've avoided death, at least not yet. So, let's see what's killing people right now, and what may take you and me from this world in the future. This is gonna be fun, this is... <clears throat> gonna be fun. In the last 80 years, the rates of maternal and infant death have decreased drastically, and as modern medicine becomes more and more available, this trend will continue in underdeveloped countries. Also, women nowadays are having fewer children, so less chances of complicated pregnancies and deliveries. As well as more focus of resources for the children had, so better quality of life. So, if you're a woman in childbearing age, you most certainly won't die of that. Not counting that today and tomorrow's children are less likely to die young. Good news all around, right? Also, respiratory diseases like pneumonia, tuberculosis and influenza, which killed millions of people during the early 1900s and as soon as the 80s, are now restricted to populations with fewer access to health services. What is killing us now? Well, the top two spots haven't changed that much. Heart failure and cancer. In fact, the other causes of death don't even come close to the numbers of those two. But why? Well, heart failure is directly linked with lifestyle and in a world that's steadily growing fatter and lazier, it's not hard to see the connection there. And with cancer, well, cancer is complicated. Getting or not getting cancer is determined by a multitude of factors from genes to eating habits and of course a bit of luck, or bad luck if you will. Also, because science have controlled or eradicated a lot of diseases, well, you have to die of something, and cancer seems to be what you get when you don't get anything else. At the beginning of the 28th century, cancer was the eighth biggest cause of death, right behind influenza and pneumonia, diarrhea and enteritis, heart disease, stroke, kidney disease, and accidents. Nowadays, numbers 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, and 7 have moved way down, leaving just heart disease on top of cancer. And because it is believed that cancer is related with the inability of cells to divide properly and with free radicals, both phenomena more frequent during old age, then as we grow older, it's logic to think that we will be more prone to getting cancer. So, if you're over 50 today, you may want to visit your doctor regularly and make sure everything is okay. And also, take care of your heart. Just saying. But if you're under 40, I have good news and bad news. Good news is that there's a big chance of you living over 75 years old. Bad news is, besides heart disease and cancer, our and next generations will have to worry about superbugs and war. Antimicrobial resistance currently kills around a million people per year and by 2050 it's estimated that that number will be 10 times bigger. And it will make procedures like organ transplant, joint replacement, chemotherapy and cesarean sections way riskier. Why? Because modern antibiotics have mostly killed all the weak and semi-strong microbes, leaving behind only the strongest specimens. These superbugs are drug resistant and we simply have nothing besides modern antibiotics to deal with them. So what do you do if you get E. coli, malaria, gonorrhea or tuberculosis? Well, you better try not to. Also, isn't it interesting that superbugs will increase mortality related to childbirth, diarrhea and respiratory diseases? That important are antibiotics today. So hopefully science will find new and better ways to deal with superbugs so the kids of today live longer than their parents. That is if the bomb doesn't fall on our heads first because, you know. So God bless all of us and if you want to know more about how to age better, please share this video and subscribe.
Hey guys, Arturo here. Did you like this video? Well, this and all of our videos are made for you. So if you've gotten this far, please subscribe and share. 2H Better is a non-profit project and the only way we can grow is with your support. So if you think this is interesting, share. If you think this is funny, share. If you think this is important, share. If you think this is lame and boring, also share. Get a second opinion. Thank you for joining us this week and we'll see you soon with more original content just for you.